Sammy Fata. Yeah, and the winner will actually win this. Three. Oh, <laughs> uh, now, now we can't see it anymore, but it's a Super Nintendo <laughs> Entertainment System. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Alright, so the grand finals of Amateur Bracket, we got Rom versus yeah. Delsiet. Let's go. There this we is, got. uh, not looking good so far. Yeah, but I think Rom will get in no time. In no time. I mean, like, you can get all these hits on Gandorf, but the second Gandorf gets one hit, that's yeah. basically the same. But right now, Dilsit looking very confident. Yeah, there, 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 yep, yep. Hit, there you go. Oh, yeah, he dropped it. The upper, yeah, he's really, yeah, his spacing of the upper is really good. I've never seen any Ganondorf this good with his upper. I haven't seen many Ganondorfers, though, so. I've seen a lot, actually. And Ganondorf is like a character, like, it's all about. Basically, like, when you get the advantage stage, you really want to abuse it just yeah. to get all the hits going. Yeah, and you, you want to get in the, the fear of it. You want yeah. to get the, the opponent to get the fear of yeah, it. Ganondorf is yeah. just about dominating your opponent, really. Yeah. And just at the ledge, that's one of the best places to dominate. And here he got the first stock oh, he already. Got the first stock. Yeah. Oh, I was about. I thought we were gonna see a uh, side B there. Oh, but we're gonna oh, see side smash. Here we got. Yeah. On the. Uh, it was a tech, a tech get up, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Ooh, dash attack. Yeah, dash attack on low percent is actually really good because it can combo into up air. And up air is uh, one of the strongest uh, one of the strongest combo tools with Gandalf. Yeah, yep. And uh, I I really like the how do I call it the the back part of the up air. It yeah, has yeah, a yeah. Special the name. Tiber Man. Yeah, the Tiber Man is a really great uh, great way to get people uh, off the stage and also a really great edge guarding tool. Yeah. Or Tip Man, I think it's not called Tipper Man. Tip Man. Okay, okay. Nice. Can you get off disadvantage? Oh, I think we're gonna see a uh, edge card here. Oh, he's trying it. to cover the ledge, there but got it. There he oh, that was oh. been the kill. Yeah, yeah, it's been the stock. He will make it back. Okay. Okay, forward air from Sonic coming out. He has to find an option right now. This is getting really dangerous against Sonic. Such a fast character. The side tilt. Oh, and the, the tech. tech! And the oh! tech! Oh! And then... No tech there. From Dill Seed. That's nice. That was so good by And look, look how Rom sits. He sits like he's the king. Yeah, he sits like he's Gendor. That is how he you want. Basically, is Gendor. You want to you want to show dominance not just through your play but through your pose. Yeah. You want to you don't want to just play like you're dominating. You want to be dominating. You want to like yeah. sit up right and just be like, all right, I'm gonna take this guy out. Like, I'm not scared of you. Yeah. I'm not scared of you. In. <laughs> That's all you want to do, man. That also gives the power of Ganon. You know, but Ganon just has courage. But Ganon players need courage, so like giving yourself more courage by feeling, uh, feeling up yourself and trying yeah. to uh, look dominant and trying to sit up like, oh, I'm gonna take you, like a king. Really works, man. Yeah, and so he, we are at game two, one zero for Rom. So what do you, uh, what do you initially think uh, about like uh, this stage choice uh, coming from uh, Dilsi? Um, I think he wants more stage to run on. Because it is the, bro the widest stage there is, I think he wants more escape options or more distance between him and Skandorf. I think I'm also thinking is those platforms are really gonna help him being yeah. able oh, to- Yeah, oh, and there! Oh, I think that was a misinput. Yeah, oh. yeah, that was a misinput. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, it happens. Skandorf, luckily one of these characters who can get away with that really easily because he can get the stock super quick. So comebacks are definitely a problem with yeah. this character. But uh, unfortunate there. I guess it all comes back to you. Dilsi SD last game, now it has to be Rom's turn, man. <laughs> the game decides it. Oh, well, that's looking nice. Dilsi in the lead here. Covering out all the options from Rom. Just feeling him up. Yeah, there. There is no space for Rom on the stage right now. Really good stage choice from uh, Dilsi because all this space 
You know, Gandalf can't release it too much with his beat, but yeah, that DLC oh, gets so much off it. Down smash. Nope. And the Gand grabs. We see all. We always say see DLC going for those grabs. I think he figured out the shield patterns of Rom. I think we're gonna see uh, either up B stage spike or like a uh, up B e, uh, up air uh, ladder. Yeah, but I think it will be really difficult for Rom to take this back. But maybe this takes it. No, I think he has to take you it only now. Need, you, or only else. Need, you only need a couple of hits with Gandalf. I would never say it's super difficult. How about that? Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. and he went. Yeah. I think a neutral air would be right. all that needed. Oh. Oh, and. Oh, oh the attack, attack again! Okay. If he had actually hit him with side B, that would have been game over for Rom. Um, yeah. Sometimes you don't want the guy to side. Okay. Oh, nice timing. Oh, tech. oh yeah, tech. This is super close. Kind of likes all this it damage. actually isn't close because Sonic still got two stocks. I think he will finish this up. He got one spring, two springs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. What I meant with close was like the interactions or like the, the, the stock. Like who would take this, uh, the next stock was really yes. close. That's what I meant. Because you know, of course, like two stocks over yeah, that two means stocks, yeah. two stocks. Yeah. One fifty Gandor yeah. against the Sonic. No, no, no I don't it, think. Yeah. It, it's dominating, but at the same time, like. Getting that Sonic stock, like in that situation, was looking very good for uh, for Rom. Yes. It was looking really prominent, but uh, just didn't get it. Yeah. But he had one more stock to go after that, so it'd be quite a quite a long trip. But uh, it was super close for him to get the stock. But uh, we're gonna see what he can do now, cause uh, it's best of five and uh, it's one one right now, meaning that it's uh, even. So uh, both players can go away with this. There is no saying yes. until we uh, have concluded the winner through the set. But I think the more they play, I think that Rom will, or no, that Dilty will abuse this matchup way more. Because I think the first game he was a little bit, of, a little bit insecure about how he should play and where he should space. But I think the more they play, the more he figures out um, Gandor or Rom's Gandor. That's true. But uh, the second you adapt to Sonic as well, it's very dangerous. Uh, yeah. Sonic uh, needs to uh, play super uh, adaptively because. Guy is one character where that, all right, his game plan always works. Get a bunch of hits in, get a nice edge guard or something, or get a strong hit in, you know. Um, it works. But with Sonic, the thing is, if you start to understand his movement and if you start to uh, optimize on how the specific Sonic is approaching, you start to find more openings. And when you find an opening against Sonic with a powerhouse as Ganon, that's bad. Yeah, definitely. But at the same time, it's really hard for Ganon just to get to punish that opening. Even if there is an opening, with his current tool shot, there isn't always a uh, possibility for Ganon to get it. Oh, okay. Dash attack. Oh, he tries to grab yeah. him. I think this might be game. Yeah, yeah nice. It. Nice wait for, for the air dodge. Right there. Being patient. Side tilt. Oh. His back is to the stage. This is dangerous. Oh, he and gets. There we get it. Oh, yeah. very, very good from Dilsiet. I think that's uh, stock. Yeah. Yeah. Only three percent on Sonic, but only twenty-five percent again as well. This is. Uh... All right, we got some more percentage. here. Dilsiet really good at uh, just covering the stage. No way for Rom to go. But now Rom yeah. gets his hits in, and this is where it gets dangerous. Oh, and the side tilt. Back air stuffing him out. Ooh, trying to go for the two frame, I think. Ooh, nice one. Yeah, that Rom really. It. In these situations, you really gotta look for the obscure. No one he takes it this time. Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay. Oh, that was some great yeah, spacing there. He did the up smash, he just spaced it out. Oh, okay. That was a uh, great coverage on the uh, ending lag. Oh, I think back throw here, that might. It's going to be really difficult for Ganon to make it out here. But he makes it back. Oh. Oh, a bear. Mer oh, oh, the second oh, it didn't no. connect. Oh. Well, a bit too fast there. Oh, okay. Side B? No. He wants to go for an edge guard now instead of side B. Yeah. 
They, he wants oh. to edge cancel his down B. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh the down tilt on the nice. ledge. Nowhere to go. Yeah. Oh, look at his blows. He's like sitting up right. It's like fatality. It reminds me of fatality. <laughs> the way he's sitting it reminds me of fatality. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like uh, you just see him walk up the stage. The way he walks, you just know that's fatality right there. It's like Roms, you are like. I may maybe, maybe I won't remember his face in like a couple of years, but if I see him from behind and he's walking like, like sitting on his chair like that, I'm going to be like, all right, that's Rom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, so we're going to Lila Cruz. The stage that should not be played on, but whatever. But why do you think Dilsey chose this stage? Well, because the thing is that Sonic really likes to use the stage because there is, honestly, like, even though it's slanted, there is still a lot more space in the stage than, like, let's say Smashville or uh, as we just went to. As, and as you can see, that went to Rom. So he wants more space. And also, those platforms are really good for Sonic just to cover up. Yeah, but I think Gandorf and ah uh, maybe Rom bans FD. Yeah, Rom definitely has FD banned. Makes sense, cause like without platforms, there's no like opportunity for Rom yeah. to snatch him out without bears. Because when Sonic's on that platform, uh, Rom can kind of use uh, Gandorf's up air or, or a neutral air, or uh, maybe even sometimes cross up uh, back air just to pressure him on the yeah. on the on the platforms. But on Final Station, you can't do such a thing against uh, Sonic. At the same time, though, Sonic can use these platforms really well himself. So it's really just like a, it's like a gamble. If Rom optimizes on it, it's gonna be better for Rom. If DLC optimizes on it, it's uh, actually way worse for Rom. Okay, so Rom no double jump here. Oh, okay. High recovery. Oh, oh a nice wait nice. for the F smash. Nice. There's one more stock, and he is the winner of this amateur bracket. Oh, Sonic trying to uh, get the ladder. Oh, oh that would have been sick. Yeah. Oh, oh, but Gary it's called that. Landing, yeah. Hold him out. Down throw. Oh, with very dangerous out of the ledger. Oh, oh, nice way to win the game. To win the set. Yeah, DLC was nice. seeing a little bit too many neutral get-ups. Yeah, and now we have to uh, get up to the stage. Wait. Yeah. He's still got the price to win. Yeah. Rom stage. Getting a little bit too uh too greedy with the neutral get-ups there, and Rom's gonna take it. Sponsoring from gameplays. Gameplays. Gameplays? Oh. Okay. So as you can see there, Rom winning the classic SNES sponsored by uh, Gameplays. Gameplays of Zernius. So uh, thanks to them for uh, allowing us to uh, give this great present to uh, somebody who didn't get their chance in pools, but uh, or in bracket, but uh, got their chance in the amateur bracket. The pro bracket, that is, because it was still a bracket. <laughs>